Hi everyone, welcome back to another video on my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a really simple, um, quick and easy design. Uh, I haven't actually sped up this video at all. I wanted to do it as a video where I speak while I'm doing it, but unfortunately it just didn't go to plan um, because as usual there was washing in the machine and it was loud. <laughs> So I just decided against it, but I'm still going to keep it in real time. So it's sort of like I'm talking to you as I'm doing it because it's still relatively slow, if that makes any sense. But first of all, I am doing a coat of blackout. No, I think I started off with Raven. I did two, two nails with Raven, which is a glittery black, which is this one. I don't know why I didn't notice that, but I've got my phone at an angle. I'm talking into the microphone and I couldn't see it had glitter in it. But there you go. So this is Raven. And then I'm going to be going in with... Um, blackout which is here so I've done two raven and one blackout because this one is going to have some crystals on it and then the other two will be the design nail so obviously I'll talk you through that as we get to it so I'm just making sure that obviously this black and raven wasn't done too thick because if we put like, polish in the lamp that's way too thick especially black it's really difficult for the lamp to get through the pigment and it can bubble and be a nightmare so always look out for that with black so here we're going in with our design. So I'm just using the brush from the bottle for this, but if this was on obviously an actual person, I would use a nail art brush. Um, maybe not for the free edge area, but for this bit I'm doing now, which would technically be the cuticle, I would do it with a nail art brush to make sure it's nice and neat. You can't just go straight in crazy with a brush with black <laughs> all over someone's hand. So obviously you've got to adapt it to actual hands. So I'm just, um, making some squiggly lines. It's not really too important um, where the lines are or anything like that, but it is nice to have a bit of like up and down edge. Up and down edge? I don't think that's a thing. <laughs> but anyway, we'll go with it. So yeah, I'm just doing some black bits. I'm going to do this one in this direction. Um, so it's this diagonal. And then this one that I'm doing now will be the opposite way around. So they're like the opposites when you put them next to each other because the placement of this set will be... I imagined it like the pinky and the thumb were glitter and then the middle finger is full black with crystals and then the index and ring finger would be these designs. So I wanted the designs to go in both directions so they're sort of, well, just different. I don't really know why I went into such great detail with that description, but there you go. Um, So yeah, I'm just going in with the black, doing exactly what I did on the other one, just the other way around. And then we'll be able to move on to the next step, which is gonna be a sort of marble. I showed you at the beginning the colors that I'm gonna be using. I actually did this set on myself, um, slightly different colors, because they were a different brand back then. It was years and years ago. Um, but yeah, I did it on myself a long time ago. And at the time it was so popular. Um, I did it on clients over and over again in the same colors and in different colors it was very very popular back then um and every now and then someone does still bring the photo to me to have them now even though they're like seven years old but there you go probably not seven years that's a bit excessive but it was a long time ago so i'm just going in with all three colors and this way of doing marble in my opinion is the is the easiest because you literally just make a mess and I am fantastic at that so I love it so I'm just popping all of the colors on I'm not even putting too much of the colors on because then obviously it'd be too thick to cure so you want just enough to cover the whole nail but not too much where it's going to be really thick and gloopy um and then just making sure that I'm getting right up to that outline as well Although it's not really that important because I am going to be outlining it with something else. Um, as you saw at the beginning, I am going to be using a Brill Bird Glamour Gel. Um, it is really, really dark. You can obviously use a brighter one. They've got much brighter glitters like the silvers and golds and stuff are just amazing. But I just didn't want it to take away from the design in this one. So I went for something quite subtle but still enough to see it sort of thing. Um, so I'm just applying these like that, making sure that the sides obviously are nice and covered, especially if it was a client, you don't want any gaps down the sides. And then I'm going to go in with some white as well, which I did actually forget to get on my palette event like at first, but obviously here it is, it just appears. <laughs> um, so I'm just bringing the white through. It almost gives me like ocean vibes because it's a bit bluey, turquoisey, aqua, that sort of thing. Um, and I'm just pulling that through. Um just to break it up a little bit. It's so nice to have a bit of a brighter one in there to split all the colors up a bit more. And then I'm just making sure that I don't marble for too long else you'll end up just creating a new color and it won't look like marble. So I'm gonna leave you to watch this one because it's the exact same process, just basically the other way around. And then I will come back for the next step.
So next up, we're going to be using this Glamour Gel. I think it's number 11. I'm not 100% sure, but I did show it at the beginning. So definitely have a look at that just to be sure if you want to know. Um, but yeah, I'm just using this with my striper brush from Magpie. Um, just to basically apply it around the outsides of the marble. You can't really see it on camera. It was a little bit more noticeable in, per in person, but like I said, I did specifically use this one because it's not crazy and in your face because I wanted the marble to be center of attention for this set, so I didn't want the glitter to take away from that. So then after that, I'm gonna be applying some crystals to that plain black nail. Um, I used I really hope that I'm going to show you. Yeah, <laughs> I used the turquoise mix and the cyan mix from Sparkle Supplies UK. They're absolutely beautiful and they match this set perfectly. Um, so I'm just spilling some out here so I can get the sizes that I want. And then I just line them up on my kitchen roll exactly how I'm going to apply them. And then I know that I can just put my gel on the nail and just stick them straight on instead of messing about while the gel is on there or glue or whatever it is that you use to apply them. For this set, I did only use no wipe top coat to apply them, but that was literally just because obviously they're, I don't really care about them lasting sort of thing and they're not going to be used. They're literally just going to be stuck to my shelves in my nail room. So it's very, very unlikely that they're just going to come off because there's not going to be any pressure put on them. So no wipe top coat is fine. I wouldn't usually use that um, on a shiny surface to apply anything because obviously it wouldn't last on actual hands that are going to be using the nails. But for this, it worked fine. Usually I'd use builder gel. Some people use poly gel, just whatever you'd use to apply them is absolutely fine. But that's what I did for this set. And then all there's left to do is just pop this in the lamp and cure these in place. And then just top coat all of them. That's exactly what I did next. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It's just a nice, quick, easy one. Um, and yeah, that's it from me today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll be back soon. Bye.